Well, Lafayette firefighters are getting a glimpse into the future thanks to two Korean companies showing off the latest in firefighting technology. News Channel 18's Kristen Mayorano was there for the demonstration of two firefighting robots this afternoon. Kristen? Yes, Jeff, today's demonstration is the culmination of more than two years of building relationships with executives in Korea. Now Lafayette officials hope to use the technology that's resulted and possibly vie for a stronger relationship with these companies here at home. Korean businessmen are inviting Lafayette officials to look into the future where a machine like this could save somebody's life. We've put a lot of work into it. There's been a lot of trips back and forth to Korea for the last two and a half years. So it's nice to actually have a week like this where they can bring their products over. Purdue's Eric Matson says in that time he's worked with Korean companies on research partnerships. He says the two companies that demonstrated the firefighting robots Tuesday are now looking to work with Purdue to help research to create and commercialize their products. While it's still early in the process, that could mean manufacturing products like these in Greater Lafayette. But I think with Purdue and with the growing nature of this community, I think there's certainly possibilities here. And besides the possibilities for development here in the Lafayette area, fire officials say these technologies are something they could see happening here within the near future. We see it right now as a maybe in an industrial setting, we, and, and Lafayette has a lot of industry, um, or in a hazmat, hazardous materials setting where we don't want to put firefighters in right away. The Korean businessmen say some of the technology we saw today is already in use in Korea. The larger orange robot can withstand temperatures up to 1,400 degrees and operate continuously for up to an hour and a half. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.